Okay everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove the reading list from Safari on your iPhone. The reading list is a feature which is useful for saving articles and web pages so you can read them later, but not everyone finds it useful or necessary. Let's explore how you can manage it and how you can remove items, how it essentially works. First, we need to address the settings related to the reading list. When you open the settings app on your iPhone, get down to the uh, Safari, and there you'll see an option related to automatic downloads of reading list websites. This setting allows you to toggle the automatic downloads on or off, but there is nothing else besides that in terms of the reading list, so you cannot really do much in the settings. If you want to stop Safari from automatically downloading, of course, disable this option. Now let's talk about the reading list section within a Safari itself. Unfortunately, Safari is not highly customizable when it comes to removing entire sections, like the reading list, for example. This reading list, along with the history and bookmarks, will always be part of Safari's interface. If this lack of customization bothers you, you might consider using a different web browser that offers more flexibility. However, you can manage the specific entries within your reading list, so you can remove them one item at a time. So when you get there, click on the bookmark icon, which is looking like an open book, and here you can find your reading list, so you can remove specific items, swipe left on it, and you can do that. There is the red button delete, and you can tap it to get it off your list. If you have multiple items you want to delete, you can make the process even more efficient by tapping on the edit button at the bottom of the reading list screen and this will allow you to select multiple items at once by tapping the circles next to each entry. After selecting the items you want to delete, you can tap the delete button to remove them all at once. This method is really useful for making everything quicker. So yeah, you cannot delete the entire section of reading list, you can definitely manage the settings for it and clear individual entries. You can also manage and edit the new tab experience, so in case you don't like how things look on the new tab, you can also click the edit button and manage it there, but that's all that you can really do in Safari. You might be forced to switch to a different one, a different web browser if you don't like this. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the next video.